How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be making this wooden putter. If you want to see how this project is made as well as a free template for it, stay tuned and I'll be glad to show you. Now real quick before I get started with this putter, I want to announce that I have a new website up and running. It's called woodworkingnut.com. Now it's the same domain, just a new website updated. And uh, one of my buddies helped me build it, so a big shout out to him. Make sure you go check out his company, HD Web Developers. And what I did on this website was I redid all my plans, my templates, shopping list, cut list. I updated everything. I went through all my projects. I tried typing new paragraphs and stuff like that about each and every project that I've ever made. And I got shopping list, cut list, and everything like that on majority of my projects. So if you guys could go over there, check it out, tell me what you think of it. I would greatly appreciate that. Well, let's go ahead and get started on this putter. To get started on this project, I'm gonna be using two types of wood. I'm gonna be using a scrap piece of maple, and then I have a nice chunk of walnut. And uh, I think these two contrasting woods are gonna look really nice together when it's all said and done. Now this is one of those projects that doesn't require a whole lot of wood, so I definitely recommend using hardwood. And then if you have it, I'd use an exotic wood or something just to make your putter look really nice and kind of show it off. So let's go ahead and start milling up this lumber and get to work. Now before I run this board through my joiner, I want to have kind of a nicer edge to work with. So I went ahead and clamped a straight edge onto this walnut and then I'll just take one pass with my circular saw and then I'll bring it over to the joiner and square it up from there. And now with my table saw, I'll take my joined edge along the fence and I'll make it parallel with my outside edge. And now I can make the top side of my board parallel to the bottom side and I'll make it about one inch thick using my thickness planer. And now that I have my walnut board all squared up, I can go ahead and rip a one inch strip and then I'll cut it down to about five and a half inches long. So all that work was just to get a one by one piece of walnut at about five and a half inches long. And this is gonna be the face of the putter. So I can go ahead and set this to the side. Now I wanna go ahead and take my one by six piece of maple, which is actually three quarters of an inch thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plane this down to about a half inch thick, and then I'll cut them to about five inches long, glue them together, and then I'll have a one inch thick piece of maple for the back side. So let's go ahead and do that. After making one side a nice clean edge, I went ahead and measured an inch and seven eighths from the edge to the center, and then I got a two inch Forstner bit, and I'm just gonna go ahead and drill all the way through. So now that I have my two inch hole drilled, what I wanna do is go ahead and route down a channel, just going straight from the outside of the edge of that hole to make the wood about a quarter inch thick. And I'm gonna do that on my router table by making a couple passes. Yeah. 
And now that I have the center of my board all routed out there, I went ahead and sanded the center of this down just to make sure it's perfectly flat and it feels good now. So what I'm gonna do next is go ahead and join my two boards together. And instead of just gluing these, I'm gonna add some dowels in them just to beef it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and drill the holes for that. Now in order to transfer these two holes to my piece of walnut, I'm just gonna use these dowel centers and then I like to butt everything up against one flat board and then bring them together. And then something like this, it's so light that I can just push it together and it should leave those marks on my board. Now I can see them, the camera's probably not picking them up, but now I can just go ahead and drill on my piece of walnut. And after letting the glue dry for a few hours, now I'm just gonna remove the center section and I just traced a line going from the edge of the circle all the way out. So now I have the center section of my putter cut out and what I wanna do next is start working on the side profile and ideally I wanna make this a uh, kind of a nice smooth curve shape but I don't really have a way to do that. My bandsaw, it's not in a good enough shape to make that cut, it's just, it's a story of its own. And then I tried doing a coping saw where I could either do just one side at a time or do both sides, but there's not enough clearance in between both of them for me to get the coping saw that I have in there. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is use my sander and freehand it on each side. And that's gonna be my best bet. Now, what I did was I took my template, I cut it out and then I just traced it onto the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to freehand this and hopefully it doesn't come out too bad. So after sanding it for a few minutes, I realized really quickly that that's probably not gonna be the way to go. So I'm kinda ditching the whole curve design on mine, and I think I'm just gonna cut a straight edge at about a 75 degree angle. So I set up a fence here, clamp my piece down, and now I can cut each side individually, and I think it will still look pretty good. And now with these tapers cut, I can go ahead and cut the putter to its final length. So now that I have that nice smooth angle cut on both sides, what I wanna do next is go ahead and shape the putter from the top side. And for that, I'm gonna be using this cutting template that I made. You can download this in the description below. Now I did trim it up just so I could line it up a little bit better. So uh, it is cut up a little bit right now, but I'm just gonna attach it temporarily with some spray adhesive and then I'll go over to my bandsaw and cut it out. And I like to let it tack up for a minute or so before I stick it on. Usually that'll help it uh, come off easier.
So now that I have all my outside edges cut and sanded, what I want to do before I peel this template off is just center punch where the shaft's going to go, and then I can peel off this template, sand all my inside edges, and then I'll give it a nice finish. So now I have my putter head sanded down all nice and smooth and I was kind of waiting around for my putter shaft to arrive and it just got here. So what I'm going to do is drill a 3 8 inch hole for this to fit in on about a 20 degree angle and then I forgot that I wanted to add a strip of inlay across the top just to mark the center of the putter head. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the hole and then I'll add the inlay. Now I just have a little piece of maple cut out and I'll glue it in place. While I wait for my piece of inlay to dry, I'm going to go ahead and cut the putter shaft down to about 35 inches long. And now that the wood glue is set up, I can go ahead and cut off the excess inlay. And after sanding my putter head down to a nice smooth finish for the final time, I can go ahead and apply a clear coat. And for that, I chose this water resistant spar urethane. This stuff works great on outdoor projects. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it on my putter head. That way it's protected from the elements. So after applying a few coats of spar urethane to my putter head, it's fully cured, everything is looking good so far. The last thing I need to do is go ahead and add the grip to my putter shaft and then epoxy in my putter shaft to my putter head. Now I don't have any grip solvent, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use mineral spirits and I've heard that works out pretty well too. And then I'm gonna try to slide it on. And that didn't come out too bad. So now the putter is all glued up, we can go ahead and take it outside and do a few practice shots. So after taking a few practice shots with this putter, I have to say that I'm extremely happy with the way this turned out. I like the overall look of it with the contrasting woods and then that little inlay piece on top I think looks great too. So all in all, couldn't be happier with this project. If you guys like the project, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more woodworking videos. I am going to be trying to post every Tuesday as frequent as I can now. And uh, with it being summer, hopefully I can come up with some good projects for you guys as well. So. As always, if you want to build this project yourself, I do have a free template that you can download in the description below to make this exact putter head. And don't forget guys, please go check out my new website, woodworkingnut.com. Tell me what you think, I would greatly appreciate it. So until next time, I'll see you guys next week.